So we are back in Coventry today. And this is a property I came to a couple of weeks ago with Beth uh, that we just put at auction. But I'm also here with Gavin and Carol because we're actually meeting Andy Street, who's the Mayor of the West Midlands. This meeting with Andy's been on the cars for a while now and we just want to kind of get him invested in the work we do at Cornerstone Partnership, show him a property that we're currently working on that will go into our service to help a family in the city and yeah, basically get him interested and get him involved and see how we could help us expand our mission even further. The idea is to keep on doing that, so basically to expand what we do across Coventry, do the same across the West Midlands, so we're currently working with the Neaton and Bedworth Council as well, same model, we provide the temporary accommodation, we use a surplus from that to then provide local housing allowance, rent properties, and it's a model which we think can be scalable because effectively it's sustainable. We're very, we're very aggressive in terms of our expansion, that's because we want to help as many people as possible. Mm. How many properties have you got now? Uh, as it stands, we've got 84 across across Coventry and, and then into the Neaton. Yeah. But we want to get a thousand homes in, wow. in the next 10 years to yeah. protect for those who need them most. So the minute that's homeless families, because that's the area that we're working in. But mm. I think there's 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 lots of areas where we could uh, we could expand into. Very good, thank you. Don't worry, lovely to see you. What's your name, sir? John. John, and you work regularly for these people, yes, do you? Sir, the, yes, sir. Preparing properties. That's what we do, that's what we're good at. That's how I'm all the good at. Uh, yeah. uh, sure not. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is a bit cold faced, but this is what we do. This is what we do. But it will be home for yeah. a family in not and very long, though. Not very long, so hopefully a few weeks' time it will be ready to, ready to go. And this will be one of our move on properties, so this will be set at the local housing allowance level. Yes. We're all about sustainability. For us, there's no point doing something if it's not going to be something that we can continue to do over the next few years. One of the things we couldn't show you, because, you know, badly we've got our families in the houses is the quality so we, we hit a quality standard whereby the benchmark was it's got to be somewhere that I would live and I would feel comfortable in and we've had a bit good or bad situation I suppose it's good from a quality point of view but people don't want to move out of our homes when they get offered a, a permanent residence because our homes are nicer. At first that was a challenge in the sense that well people don't want to move on but I see that as really positive because well we need to push the overall quality up. People should have somewhere they want to live in, yeah, and, and that's what we try and offer. So, but what we're really looking to do is we're really looking to get involved in Birmingham because well, that was going to be my next question. Yeah, well, because yeah. you know scale of the challenge absolutely uh, in terms of numbers yeah. in temporary accommodation in Birmingham yeah just dwarfs all the other boroughs in the West Midlands put together. I, and um, I went to uni in Birmingham. Uh, because, yeah. you know, it's, I see it as my city. So yeah, good. We, we're really passionate to do yeah. something in Birmingham. So I've just had a fantastic meeting with Andy Street over at one of the properties in Coventry. You always go into these things not quite knowing what they are, is it just a picture opportunity or is it about actually learning more about the things that we're doing and it was really, really good actually because Andy was really engaged, asked lots of questions about what we do, how we did it, where we started, so he was able to share a little bit of the story of Cornerstone and why we do what we do. We got onto some practical matters and spoke about the challenges that are out there currently and how we can get involved. So uh, we talked about Housing First. He's been a big key part in pushing forward the Housing First agenda across the West Midlands, particularly with the uh, West Midlands Combined Authority Homelessness Task Force. And at some point we'd love to go out to Finland and he said he went out a couple of years ago and saw in Helsinki how they'd um, ended street homelessness out there. So he obviously comes from a place of somebody who really cares about making a difference. And then we spoke about um, our growth and how we can continue to help more people. The plans to start working in Birmingham and he was talking about how we can potentially make some introductions into the Birmingham City Council so we can start helping families and individuals in Birmingham as well. So all in all, it was freezing cold and it was a really good really good use of time and I'm really glad that Andy took the time to come out and, and meet with us.